Hey guys, different day, different drink. And girls, I misunderstood the assignment. I thought Gravio drank meant grab something to drank. So I grabbed some <laughs> trust. Only the because best for us. Apparently it pairs well with hamburgers. Which is what's for dinner tonight. She has water. I don't have water. Oh, what is it? This is oh. Wild Little Things Slightly Sour Ale by Sierra Nevada. This is part two, so do we still have to do an introduction? I'm not going to do yeah. an introduction. It's a whole separate video. Chevy Rail Show. Us. I'm Dan. You're introduced. I'm guessing that y'all are coming off of part one because this is part two. And that was last night, which was a martini episode. So I am having one beer. Dan Clinkies. Dan had bourbon last night. There are a handful of you who caught a live last night after we got done recording. Yeah, it was kind of half live. It was a live event, but... We were as as the old... I was going to say proverb says. That's not it. As the old saying goes, three sheets to the wind. <gasps> Is that in the book? What book? Dude! Dude. Okay, hold on. Stand by. I'll just sit. Thanks. Check it out. Why do we say it? The stories behind the words, expressions, and cliches we use. Jacqueline, who many of you know is Blaze Knits on Instagram, shared something out of this book. And I was like, what is it? I must know. And then I immediately bought it when she told me. Let's see if Three Sheets to the Wind's in here. And I do want to look this up. I want to see, is this guy a for real entomologist or did he just like make up? Entomologist? Yeah, uh, the history and mechanics of words. That's bridges. entomology? Mm -hmm. What's bugs? It's in here, you guys, it's in here. Three sheets in the wind. I've oh, always said- It is, entomology is bugs. I was gonna say, because I've always wanted a, an old bug book. You know, back in the day when they used to hand draw the bugs, like an old, old entomology book? While he's looking at that, I'm gonna read this to you. I always thought it was three sheets to the wind. It's three sheets in the wind. Yeah, you found it? <laughs> What's the word? Etymology. Etymology. Entomology? Etymology is, is etymology. words. Entomology is insects. So I can Not see bugs. how you would confuse... Well, you can see. Ditto's still upset because he's not allowed in here. He misses his pillow, his love affair with the pillow. Oh, I almost forgot. You guys, check out my koozie. Isn't it cool? It is by the Crafty Little Bird. And there's even a ball and yarn on her label. This is from Brandy, which I'll show you a couple other things Brandy got me later. I'm so excited. Okay. Three sheets in the wind. From sailing, the sails of a ship are fastened at one bottom corner by a tack, which is more or less fixed at the other well, by a bottom corner. Can it just be the bottom corner? That's what this says. Stop interrupting. It's actually the top middle, but we're calling it the bottom corner. Now you've totally messed up the, the gojo of the words. Mm -hmm. Which is more or less fixed at the other end by a sheet which can be unloosened. Most commercial sailing vessels have three sails. Unloosened? I know you want to talk so bad. That's what it says. Right. You guys, this, you just tighten? this book is copyright, is old, 1985. Mm -hmm. So it was another time. They said words like bottom corner and unloosened. Most commercial sailing vessels have three sails each with its separate sheet. And there's the neighbors staring at us. Damn it. My neighbors. Oh my gosh, everyone's coming home right now. And here Dan and I sit with our studio lights in our picture window. Both neighbors got home at once and one neighbor's waiting for the other one to pull it so he can pull in. They're the ones who gave me the tamales on the last episode. Because he lets her park in the garage. Aww. He's so sweet. Most commercial sailing vessels have three sails, each with its separate sheet. And when one of these sheets becomes loose, the sail flaps back and forth and is said to be in the wind. If all three sheets are in the wind, the ship and sails move about without purpose as the wind blows them. So a person reeling drunkenly 
about is said to have three sheets in the wind. So we this were, book is so fun. We were reeling drunkenly about. Kinda. Mm. For those of you who caught the live, wouldn't you say? <laughs> okay, where was I? 45 minutes in, we're going to start the episode. It's not 45 minutes. I'm be. warm. I am wearing, that's the You're other hot. thing. <laughs> I am wearing my Nothing. Flamingo Flavor, I think. By Suzanne Sommer, what and also is a flamingo? my eyes. It tastes like chicken, right? No? I certainly hope that people don't eat flamingos. That would make me sad. What? Eat cows. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. This is my Ive sweater by Jared Flood, and I absolutely love it. And she needs it, because when I got home today, the house was 63. Oh, that's my alarm to remind me to do something. But you don't know what, because you didn't label the alarm. I can't no. label the alarm. I don't know how yes, to label the alarm. My alarms are all labeled. Next. Next or first? First. Enabling. Enabling. The first thing on enabling, and this will be linked down below, is my new trash can. Look, it's knit. No, it's not. It was like five or six bucks at Meyer. I mean, I saw this bitch on an end cap. I was like, mine. So I for, had to show you. For anyone not in the tri-state area, Meyer's is like Walmart. Oh yeah, sorry. They started in Grand Rapids, Michigan. They're based in Michigan, obviously. And they were spread to- Who are you, why, where, how are you the historian on Meyer? How did you know that's where are they based out of? Because I've shopped at Myers and it's all over the place. I've shopped at Myers for years. I could not have told you that. Meyer is not like Walmart. Meyer is between Target and Walmart. Mm, yeah. If that makes any sense. Yeah. It's big like Walmart, but it's not as cheap as Walmart. Anywho, I saw it and I had to get it. What's next? So you're saying you could have got that at Walmart cheaper? They didn't have it at Walmart because it's Walmart. Oh, you make me want to have a cigarette or two. You guys, look! One of you let me know, and I apologize because I can't remember who it was, but one of you let me know that this was for sale on Amazon, which thank you, and I immediately hit buy it now. I have been searching for this movie forever. It is great. It is great. Remember this chick? Hey, Linda! You're a bitch! If you ever have a chance to watch this, this is a perfect New Year's Eve watch, even though we watched it New Year's Day. And Dan fell asleep. I love it. I just had to show you that I finally got it because I know that some of you were on the lookout for me. Very excited. Too bad you don't have a battery operated fabric diffuser, defuzzer. I. I already have 10 of those. I'm going to tell the story. No, oh, I do not have 10 I'm of them. The story. I did not empty it the last time I used it. So you get to see there is all the pills. It goes up in there like that. You can set the how close you get to your fabric. I had so many pills on so many sweaters and socks and it just looked bad. Dan, wait, don't do that. You're like that little kid sticking his fingers in the fan. Give it back to me. The reason that I got this is because I had things with so many pills on it, right? I have a gleaner. Everyone in the knitting world, I feel like, loves the gleaner. Like, everyone was pumping the gleaner for a long gleaner. time. Yes, everyone talked about the gleaner. I got a gleaner. It's just not for me. I know some of you probably absolutely love it. It's just not for me. And the reason it's not for me What's is... I'll go get no, the cleaner. Okay, show and tell. Touchy feely. Stop, Dan. Man, children. You, Clint, Cade, all y'all. This is a gleaner. I have the on the go gleaner. And this is a manual sweater defuzzer. It has oh. a lint thingy. Yeah. This one you can open. From the other Somebody end. can. Somebody can open it. 
Oh, uh, it's right here. See this right here. And then you can change out these guys. Um, this is like sandpapery for those of you who don't have one. And then there are two more. So it's sort of like nail files. This one isn't as, this is in the middle and this is your, your big gun, right? You basically just do this, just like a lint brush, whatever, which I just went the wrong way and got lint all over. But I feel like it pulls my knits. I don't like it. It, mm -hmm. it pulls, mm -hmm. like when you're trying to deep hill, it pulls. Sure. Whereas this, I know that oh some God. people kind of don't like it. You could sand drywall with that. Well, that's the big guy. Yeah. Because I can't get it to work with the other ones. Like those don't do anything. They, they didn't take the pill off. And it could very well be user error. I, you know me, I admit to my faults. But this, you're just like very, no pulling, no pulling. It works. I cannot believe you did that. Really, you can't? That really surprises you? And then, damn it. That was probably your beard hair in there. User error. And then oh, you just been. empty it out. Ta-da! Into the knit trash can. Into my knit trash can. And I love it. So I had to show you guys. It was It's like 15 bucks. It'll be linked. And the gleaner. Like I said, this is the travel and the other one has like a handle on it. Personal. Jesus. <laughs> Personal opinion. Personal preference. There we go. I didn't mention, I have no idea what this is. That's my head. And Dan prefers Lion Brand Thick and Quick. And this is crocheted. I have no idea what the pattern is. It's very old. Okay, what's next on the list? Arctic Crafts by Benta. So y'all know, Arctic Crafts by Benta. I showed the stitch marker, not stitch marker, progress keeper on the last episode with the sand from the beach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Benta was having a sale and I bought some stuff for the giveaway. And then she sent something else for the giveaway. She had one of these left which is the Grab Yo Drank colorway. Look! So this is going in the giveaway. And then I picked these out for the giveaway. And of course I wanna keep all the things, but you just can't keep all the things. This is Resilience DK, 100% Merino. And then I got another, this is Platinum Sock which is 75, 25 merino nylon. Let me look at this one. Poldale sock is 80, 20 Poldale nylon. So Poldale merino. And look how freaking speckle wonderful that is. So then to go with these guys, which I have something, at, wait. No, to go with these guys. Do you want to be my Vanna? Holding them Hold up. Hold those, yep, yep, oh, yeah. yep. We're holding. They're turned around, but you'll get the, you'll get it. I got these to go with them. They're little gummy bears and they're progress keepers and stitch markers. Aren't they so freaking cute? I don't know if she has any left, but definitely worth going and taking a gander, faux show. Sure. I love her colorways. And she also sent me, which of course I cannot show you because I've had some of these things for a while, but she sent me Smash and it is so freaking good. It's like chocolate covered bugles and Norwegian chocolate is like this milk chocolate wonderful. Oh, it's so good. And it's not gone because I make everything last, but it's at work. It's my treat. I only eat like three or four bugles at a time because I want it to last. So I still do have some of it. So, in enabling, we covered the knit trash can, which most of these people can't buy. 200 cigarettes, which is probably gone by now, because if you look and look and look, and that was about the only run. A diffuser that they could get, and a bunch of I've stuff from a Benta diffuser. that's sold out. Diffuser. Why do I keep... It's so then diffuser. Ditto brings his crinkle toy over. Oh, cool. So now we move out of enabling into... Happy Mail! I'm a happy mail. Okay, I'm gonna start out because I want to light this incense. Penny, look at her babies. Aren't they cute? You guys will remember Penny from, she got me the olive blanket. Mm-hmm. 
Remember the blanket with olive on it? We use it every day. Every day. It hangs on my blanket rack. I absolutely love it. So she got me this little guy. Look at him. Isn't he cute? And then in his butt, which you can see I've already used it, you put incense cones. And I want a light one. Do you have a lighter? I have a lighter. Okay, so she sent me incense cones that I put in my Christmas present from Dan. He got me a little Groot. Okay, it's supposed to be- Now episode one makes sense if you leave that in. I am Groot. Because I'm not going to plant anything in the winter, I don't feel like it. He's gonna hold my incense for a little while. So he sits over here. Give me that, you do the episode. Why, I wanna, I wanna- Cause you're gonna take for fucking ever. We got dinner to eat. Who's next? Pam. 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 From California. She sent me California. Dream. I always think of the SNL skit when you do that. She sent me stitch markers from Dream, Dream Designs. Let me put them on here so you can see them. And of course, they're, they're all going to go every which way on me, aren't they? There. Aren't they cool? They're like little tarot cards. They're not really tarot cards, but they look tarot cardy. Black cat, there's a palm, the moon, and a spider. Love them. I don't know if you can see this. His eyes are on fire. Yeah, the smoke's coming out of his eyes, but you, yeah, you, you're not going to be able to see it. Oh, you can see it. There. You can see it. He's so cute, though. He looks so happy. I'm scared that's going to fall out of there. You're scared of everything. I am. Right. Thank you, Pam. Penny. Thank you, Pam. And Penny. Hens and Chicks podcast. Shaylee. YouTube.com slash... UC We're not J doing that again. We're not doing that again. Shay Lee has the Hens and Chicks Sex, podcast. They love me. She you think? <laughs> Shay Lee has the Hens and Chicks podcast. She records sporadically, but she is very into Instagram. And you guys will remember her because she was my favorite from the new to you mal, which, by the way, is going on right now you have until february 14th i guess i'll just plug it now the new to you mal is the entire month of january up until february 14th if you want to try something new fibery do it enter go check out cocktail hour at the coop girls they will tell you how to do it i'll link it below where you can find out all the the deets and you guys will remember shaylee because she was my favorite last year she made so many new to you things and was yeah. awesome and yeah. she has sock machines and she has a fun name she does have a fun name and she made me a pair of socks before and they are truly one of my favorite favorite pairs of socks and she made me another pair she also dyes yarn these were made on her machine and look at the cuff this is what i love somehow you like folded over I'm guessing I don't know it, it's sock machine magic and I absolutely love them and then I asked her if there was a knitting pattern where you could make this and she sent it to me so I'm, I'm gonna try it Jake has an Earl Bucker. oh well pretty much anyone who has a sock machine has an Earl Bucker. that's what Aquila has too that's what I was gonna ask what hers is. Earl Bucker is like the creme de la creme of sock machine. Would you like to know the history of Earl Walker? Because I happen to have that on the top of my head. You can Google it if you'd like to know. Or we'll be here all night. You would. It's a good story. It's a very good story. I'm a machinist, so. So when am I getting my Earl Walker? That's my question. I don't know. Write me a check for $1,000. I'll see if I can. $1,000. You're hilarious. I think they're more than that. Okay. Well, you win. <laughs> okay. You write me a check for $1,000. Don't write me a check. Nobody writes checks anymore. Our flooring guy was like, oh, when can I pick up a check? I was like, I don't know. 1974? Yeah, I haven't had <laughs> Who checks. writes checks? I have not written a check since 2008, oh, which no. is a lie. My own check. I write checks all the time at work. Anywho, <laughs> Shay Lee, Shay Lee sent giveaway prizes for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Look, look at it. Look. Now, she said I could keep it or give it away. Of course, I totally want to keep them. I totally do. I really do. They're 
freaking gorgeous. I love the color with the black and white, but I have these. So I have them. I have them. This one is... 8020 Superwash Merino Nylon, great for shorty socks. And the colorway, this is the same colorway for both. And the colorway name is Kids of the 80s. I mean, hello. And then this one is DK, 245 yards is the main skein. And then a uh, 10 gram mini. There's speckles in there, check out the speckles. I really love it so much. I have a question. Who are Loma and Echo? Loma and Echo! Loma and Echo are sisters. Loma is Narwhal's Creations. She made me this awesome bag. I love it. I use it all the time. Actually, I can show you this is what I had my headband in, and that's how much yarn I have left of that baby alpaca. So they sent me a Christmas letter, which was so sweet. I loved reading their Christmas letter. They did fun stuff. And they sent me two coasters. This one is awesome. It's like leather and, ba and backed with cork. And it says, I have mixed drinks about feelings. <laughs> <laughs> and then they sent me a mug rug. Look how cute it is. Mm. So thanks, Loma and Echo. Of Nor Narwhal's Creations? Narwhal's Creations. Do you know what Narwhal is? Yes. I love you. I'm glad somebody does. What's next? What does Flamingo taste like? I don't know. I, if I had to guess, I would think uh, poultry, like another bird. Chicken. And if that chicken could do karate, what would it be? Ah, oh, Ninja Chickens! Maria! Okay, I talked about my sock blank from Maria on the last episode because she does Ego Dyna. I absolutely love it. And she sent me another one. Look at it. I mean, ugh. This one, actually, can you grab the other one so the people who didn't see the last episode can, can see the first one that I got? This is the one I ordered and showed on the last podcast. And then this is the one she sent me just now. So different colors. So freaking cool. The one that I ordered is Vitex Goldenrod is what it's dyed with. And it's printed with Redbud, Hibiscus, Smokebush, and Butterfly Pea Flower, which I think the last time I said I was gonna look that up and I didn't. And this one is Vitex and Indigo and it's printed with eucalyptus, red bud, and vitex. Thanks, Maria. She's so awesome. That looks like marijuana. It does. Oh, it's pretty. It's one of those flowers that looks like a vagina. Here, I'll put it right here. Okay. Look. It, I suppose. It's really pretty. What are those drinks? Ew, look at that drink. Look at this drink. Magic butterfly pea lemonade. I want it. Okay, who's next? What's next? I don't know. It's anonymous and from Germany. I got the greatest letter from this person. You know who you are. I freaking loved it. And I really want to tell you the like history and learning education part of the letter. But I feel like if I do, since it's where she lives, it'll give it away as to who it is. Are and she, mini minis? Mini minis. And she wanted to be anonymous. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things. She sent me little minis. Well, you shouldn't say she, right? They. Whoever they are. They sent me little minis. Aren't they cute? Chocolate orange. They're little baby ones. Yeah, this one is Christmas Movie Night. This is an Etsy shop in the UK called River Soft Stardust. Wait, but all the both of these. These are all from there. Re reading is hard. Rivers of Stardust. Ooh, Rivers of Stardust. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, Christmas Movie Night. This one is Welcome, Welcome Winter. Ew, nobody will. I do. Oh, and chocolate orange. Is yeah. that what you said? What? Did you call it chocolate orange? Did you read the label? No, I just, no. It looks like chocolate oranges. 
Mm-hmm. Very aptly named. She sent me a keychain from where she lives. She also sent me, because she didn't know if we had these here in the States, and we do. Oh, no, what are those? Okay, tell us. This is from Polly McLaren, and it is Har Har Haribo, Haribo, I don't know how you say it, but they're gummies, like oh, gummy bears. Not that's not her name. That's oh, the name cool. brand of the gummies. And they're like little plastic resiny. I haven't used them because I didn't want to lose them. But one is a progress keeper and one is a stitch marker. And she also sent me uh, that's cool. this little patch. It's a pug in a hat. <coughs> Don't be jealous. These I are mean, cool. I like these. Thank you, they who shall remain anonymous. Who's next? Lucy. Lucy! Lucy sent us goodies. And in the 10K giveaway, I know that a lot of you mentioned liking the taste testing videos. Are you ready for this? I have not gotten into it, but I wanted to experience it with you. I want to experience it with you too, dear. <laughs> So these are Mexican candies because she said she knows that we like to try things. So here's the first one, which is Las Sevillanas, because does two L's make a Y? There are mini wafers with goat's milk candy. Do you want to split one or do you want one by yourself? Dan doesn't really like sweets, but I'm going to make him we'll try it anyway. One. Ooh, it's like caramel. Caramel. Mmm. It tastes like the caramel on caramel apples. Mmm. Those little caramel squares, that's what it tastes like. Mm. Yum. I mean, I'm not gonna run out and buy a case of them, but I could see how someone would. Good, that means I get to eat them all because I like them. You're right, it's a caramel apple. Then we have <laughs> Lucas Salsagetti. It's watermelon flavored hot candy strips and tamarind flavored sauce. Is that a buff Howard the Duck? Howard the Duck. No, it's not Howard the Duck. Okay, Thanks. I'm going to cut the crinkles out. Oh, what is that? It's a snake. It comes in a little tray. I'm thinking this thing, is that one of those like, oh no, that looks like stuff. So what do you do? Hold on. She sent two packages of these and I'm gonna have Kate and Cole try the other one. Right there. Keep would looking. You, would you like to do it? Well, I was gonna, but you jumped right on top of that rose, so. Okay, so I think you just pour the sauce onto the little spaghettis. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm wondering if... That's what you think, huh? You came up with that all on your own? Well, that's what everyone else has done. I'm kind of squishing it around, so... Ah! Honey! <laughs> I'm spilling it! Oh, son of a... Where'd that go? Mm -hmm. Right on the floor, like perfectly on the floor. Well, if you dropped it and it fell on the ceiling, I'd be concerned. Well, no, I thought it went on the chair. Okay, so I'm doing this. Hmm. Oh gosh, I can, all the spice is like, okay. Hold this, don't move. Okay, so it's uh, it has some of the stuff on it. Are you gonna take one? Why are you looking at it like it's gonna bite you? Because I'm kind of scared of it. Clinkies. <laughs> Noodles. Clinkies. Mmm. That has a familiar taste too. It's a little sour. It's like sour and spicy and watermelon. And 
I like it. Watermelon. Well, it's watermelon flavor. I like it. There's a familiar flavor, though. It's similar to something. Like when you first start eating it. Mm. I'll finish this later. I saved what I'm most excited for for last. Rice patty? This... Is a sesame, it's sesame seed brittle. And Lucy said in her card that it is a very traditional snack. It's a very traditional snack. I love peanut brittle and I love sesame seed. Why is there a gnat in here? It's winter. I hate it when bugs are in winter. Entomology. Anyway, I love peanut brittle and sesame seeds, and I think that I'm going to love this. I'm really excited about it. And I've never seen this before. I've never seen one of these. Oh, that's sort of funny. There's a little peanut guy on it. So peanut brittle, but it's sesame seed brittle. Oh, I'm super psyched for this. Okay. I, I can't tell if it's gonna be... Oh gosh, I don't know how you eat it. Hold on. I was waiting for it to, there, snap, there we go, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I got peanut brittle and Dan ate it all. We didn't even clinkies. Mm. Mm. I like it. I like it. I'm pretty darn good. I kind of figured I'd like it. Here in the States, kids sell things for like classes. I don't know if they do that abroad or not, but my cousin was selling like fruit and meat sticks and nuts and things like that. And I got a can of these peanut brittle bites, they were called, and they were amazing. Oh, you like it, Mr. Dan, I don't like desserts. It's not dessert, it's sesame. I am someone, like my smash, I save things, yeah? Like I want to prolong the flavor of the thing. So I don't eat everything all at once because I want it to last. So I would eat like two of these peanut brittle bites at a time and I went out to get them. I had like three servings, so I had like six of these bites and I went out to get them and I couldn't find them. Guess what happened to him? He ate the whole thing. He ate the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, minus six. Minus six. Mm. Thank you, Lucy, you rock. That's so much fun. Mm -hmm. I'm confused. What Hold is on. a hot chocolate tablet? Mmm. Oh my gosh. I could seriously eat that whole thing. Totally. No, it's mine. I let you taste it. I'm, I want the rest. Really? Mm-hmm. All right, well, I'll let you taste your burger at dinner, and then I'll eat the rest. Why is your face so smooth this way, but so rough that way? Okay, this is from Claudia. How many of you know Claudia from Crochet Luna? She sent some goodies for the 10K giveaway. Wait till you see them. Obviously, oh my Lord. I know, isn't she so nice? They'll be linked below. She sent buttons. I'm gonna show you quick. Sometimes you gotta cut a stitch. <laughs> oh, this isn't a button, this is a sticker. Cozy hugs, frog it. This bitch knits. <laughs> Yarn enabler, which that's kind of me, yeah. Foul mouthed crafter and frogging party with little frog feet. Okay, so those are going in the giveaway. Claudia, thank you so much. That is so sweet. And what Dan is. Dan! It's no. The giveaway. Baby, they're all. They're all in. They're. No. No, no. Yeah. They are very strategic. And now I can't, I don't even know where. Ugh. You're not gonna see Dan for a while after this one. This is a sucker, it's cinnamon. 
This is her favorite hot chocolate and I'm super excited to try it because I've never had it before. Sorry, ditto break. He's being uber annoying. He's being a normal dog. He just wants in here. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Claudia said she sent her favorite in powder form and tablet form. And I'm like, what? It's a tablet. I have never, ever seen this. Have you? I am so excited to try it. And of course I had to wait until I showed you guys. So there's directions. I'm really excited. And I can feel it. it's like it's Pieces. scored. Gone. Yeah, it's yeah. scored. There's four, there's four wedges in there. Yeah. Don't break it, I wanna break it. I'm serious. And then she sent this and I had to try really hard to not eat this because I wanted to show you guys. This is C's Candies, which I have heard of. I know that that's a West Coast thing. It's a Scotch Mallow tree, which I don't know what that is, but I'm really excited to eat it. So thanks Claudia and, and you guys get some buttons. Yeah. Button, button, who's got the button? Did you know that John was one half of the Sweet Tea No Shade show? Yes, I did. But did you? Scott and John, Sweet Tea No Shade. So during the pandemic, there were a few of us who somehow the universe brought us together in a VKN. And the people in that VKN did a swap. And John got my... Earthquake. Sorry. It's not really an earthquake. We're in Indiana. We had earthquakes. The earth moved yes. under my feet <laughs> john got my name and this is the skein he sent me this is so happy jane in the ross pole dark pole dark pole dark colorway the color it it's that's not really doing it it's yeah, a navy it's yeah it's like a navy with almost some like greeny undertones yeah, yeah. But look how cool that label is. I love it. And this is a new to me yarn. So happy Jane. I've not had that before. So thanks, John. Do they have turtles in New York? Oh, this is from Judy. Also another thing I had to stop myself from eating. <gasps> oh yeah. So Judy, thank you Judy, sent me two, not one, but two yarn condoms. Skeletons and superheroes. This one is, it's called Skein Coats from Precious Knit Shop. They'll always be yarn condoms to me. And this one doesn't have oh. a, a label on it, but it has all the like badass chicks on it. There's Wonder Woman. I don't know who the other chicks are to you guys. I'm not really a comic person, so I can't name them, but. Oh, this will go, Mazikeen, we're binging. Oh, we said that last night, I think. We're binging Lucifer right now. And then this is to go with my fornicating skeletons bag. He's the single guy. I'm going to put him in my... Uh, wow. You yarn, have a lot of condoms. Yarn condom basket. Dude, you know what that looks like? <laughs> I mean, it's not very good full of stuff. It'd be like one of those organ grinder monkeys. Yes, I can see right? that. Yeah. So the reason that Dan brought up the turtles is because she sent me turtles. That Where is are a the tur turtles from? Hold on a minute, honey. Oh, holding. First off, turtles hold a special place in my heart because they were one of my Grandma Peg's favorites. Grandma Peg is my mom's mom. And I've talked about her before. She loved turtles. So I always think of her and what a turtle is, for those who don't know, is it's, well, I can take it out of here. The edible chocolate version. The edible chocolate version. Not the actual turtle. Not the, the reptile. Is it a reptile? Amphibian. Reptile. It's a reptile. Entomology. That's what it looks like. So it's chocolate and it Tur has pecans. Turtles and the candy are chocolate caramel. And yeah, usually pecans, right? It's filled, and this is dark chocolate, which is yeah. my favorite. I, I say my favorite. I shouldn't even say that. I love, I love all chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they call it a caramel pecan patty. And the reason that it's funny the, slash ironic. Is because it comes from DeBrands. Which is based in? 
Fort Wayne. Which is where? We are, basically. So someone in Fort Wayne, a couple miles down the road, made this turtle, shipped it to New York. It came back home! Someone bought it from a store, put it in a box, and shipped it back to Fort Wayne. Here's the thing, though, guys. First off, she sent me two. I already ate one. And I had what? to... I had to make So my... that one's mine. No. You don't even like candy. What if I want that one? I'm going to hide it. Here's the thing with DeBrands. It's like hootie who. Like pinkies out, bitches. Like this is good, good chocolate. You can actually go watch them make this stuff. Like most of their kitchen is open and you can go watch them Con confection, confectionate. Story time. It started here. They have a headquarters, like a big bougie building up north. And then they have a bunch of DeBrands all over, not a bunch, but a few DeBrands all over town. And I moved out here to go to college. And one of the jobs that I worked at during college was at a barbecue and pasta place. Right next door was DeBrands. At the barbecue and pasta place, they smoked their own meat there. So you could get pulled pork, pulled beef, blah, blah, blah. Well, they had these big potatoes that no shit were like this big. I mean huge and then you could get them stuffed Big potatoes as big as your head they were you could get them stuffed with like pulled pork pulled beef you know pulled chicken broccoli i mean you could get them stuffed with a bunch of stuff right so the debrands people like workers who were also probably college students would bring over their mess ups to us. And when I say their mess ups, you guys, when I say like pinkies out bitches, bougie chocolate, this is high end chocolate, like chocolatier chocolate. And it cannot have any sort of blemish on it. Like they wear white gloves, no joke, like Mickey Mouse white gloves. They're perfect. Like when they come out of the molds and stuff, they are perfect. There are no bubbles. There are no creases or scratches or breaks or, I mean, they have to be perfect in order to go into the case. So any mess ups, they eat for free or get for free or whatever. As you can imagine, when you work at the chocolate place, you get sick of chocolate after a while, which is also where I got my love of dark chocolate. Because when you work in the chocolate industry and you're eating chocolate, milk chocolate is really like super sweet and rich. And dark chocolate is more of a, a uh, I, I, some people say bitter. I guess that's the best word I can think to describe it. But can you think of another, you know, dark chocolate just has that like bitey difference. And I love it. I love it. So they would bring over trays of their mess ups and we would give them big potatoes <laughs> so i love as big as their heads as big as their heads so i love the brands full of pulled things chickens and porks and flamingos and whatnot damn now i need to google if anyone ever eats flamingos that makes me sad sure. i don't want to talk about it Shush. you've never had a flamingo leg so editing chevis here you know i looked that shit up it is illegal to eat flamingo. They are protected as they should be. However, in ancient Roman times, this isn't surprising, the wealthy people would eat them to show their status. And they can only think that it tastes similar to chicken based on their diet. However, some people say that it tastes like gall meat but they shouldn't know that because it's illegal to eat them. Now you know. Thank you, Judy. Okay, next, who's next? Rosalind. Rosalind. That's what I said, Rosalind. You guys, Rosalind Damn. got me yarn. Look oh, at this. Yarn. Oh my gosh, okay. So I'd said one time that Old Soul Fiber Co. was on my, I wanna try it. This is their singles base. They call it Soul Single, and it's the Weston colorway. And when I read that it was Weston, it made my heart happy because there's an itty bitty little town. Like I'm, I'm talking like you sneeze, you miss it. it. It's like six houses near where I grew up. And my dad had a barber shop there, and it's called Weston. 
But Old Soul Fiber Co. is from Greenville, South Carolina. I'll link them. And then she also said, this is so freaking cool too, Primrose Yarn Co., which I've had Primrose before. And I can't think of what I knit out of it. I can't think of it. I know I've had this before, the, this brand. But look at this color. And when the, the Primrose I had, the label was different. I mean, it was eons ago now. But eons. Look, eons isn't that pretty and this is the oh i looked at this and didn't uh call rope colrophobia colrophobia we need to google that word it's the fear of cholera's i'm sorry what fear of clowns oh it is the fear of clowns yes let's look at that again <laughs> fear of clowns love it thank you Next is Brandy. I mentioned her at the beginning because she got me this awesome fun koozie. Also, check this out. Have you guys ever heard of 31 bags? I have 31. Not. It's not just What's bags. They don't bag? do... 31 is the name brand. And they don't just do bags, but they do bags. They have like parties, like you can order out of catalogs, kind of like Pampered Chef, I think. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Nice. Very nice. And then, and then inside, she got me the knit kit tie dye. Oh, just card. wait. Give no, me no, this. no. I want to open it. I want to touch it. I want to feel it. Like I've already played with it. Oh. Now you have to tell everyone what it is as you're learning. Because uh, I was going oh, to show counters. them. So there's some counters. Yeah, let's do it. So it counters one, two, three. So that's the hundreds, and that's the tens, and that's the ones. And as you go, it counts for you. So if you do, I'm guessing ten of these, click there it goes. One of those. And I'm not gonna make you suffer through a hundred of those. But, okay. Okay. Next. Um. So the back opens up. We got oh, show them. Oh. Oh, they can't see this. Ha. The back opens up, and we have. Skizzers. Y'all know how skizzers work. I don't need to show you. You follow them. These remind me of Graham and Ada because she had a, yep, she had totally. multiple pairs of those. And it has earplugs. <laughs> See that? There's an earplug. Stick that in here right there. Okay. Cool. Um, it has the rubber bands that go on your braces to hold your braces to get your... What if the up? person who made that stitch marker itched their butthole before they put that in there and you just put it in your mouth? Whatever, guys. No, my, my, my <laughs> hearing aid just fell out. <laughs> and there's a bunch of those. I can't hold it up or they'll all spill out. But there's there's a bunch of that stuff. And there is a, is a darning needle. Is that right? Or tapestry, tapestry needle. needle. Yeah. So a big one of those. That's what I used to use to do my... Uh, Mug rugs, right? Mm -hmm. Put this in and it goes through the mesh. Right. Yep. Right, right. So there's that. Let me hang on. Hang on. We're not done yet. Let me pick up this uh, earplug before I lose it. I'm going to close this little trap door here and you will see that it has a needle gauge, sizing gauge on go. the back. Yeah. So you open that up and you can stuff your needles in there and it has instructions. Crochet hook. I didn't see a crochet hook. No, looking hard. Oh, uh, this is like a Swiss Army device. Uh, we got to show how, them. How do I get it out? They can't see down there. So we're going to push here, yep. right? No. Yeah, it slides down. Oh, okay. There we go. That slides down. There you go. It's a big hook. And a little know. hook. Cool. All right. Put that back in there. On the other side, we have... I don't know where, is this the cable needle? Or is, it is. This is the cable needle, all right. So it's a needle. That Show them where you're getting cables. it. It's on the other side, just like that. And she sent me extras of those. She's, oh, are they different sizes or just extras? Um, I'm not, I don't, I think they're just extras. Okay. Yeah, replacement. Okay. I wonder if the more you use those, if maybe they get loose and yeah, easy to maybe. lose or something. So we have a uh, collapsible scissors. We saw those. There's a tape measure. I didn't see a tape measure. Oh, You'll have to tell find me this it. This is the tape measure. Oh, that's what this thing is. Are we ready? 
ha 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 look at that <laughs> all right we have a thread cutter um oh oh there it is right there see that see that i could cut some thread do you have any thread i can cut no all right it's thread cutter uh, row counter, that's these guys, I think. Stitch markers, you saw those on the inside. Point protectors, those I would imagine are the earplugs. Darning needle, well, what's the difference between a darning needle and a cable needle? The darning... Which one's which? This is the darning needle. Okay. Oh, and that's the cable needle. We and, already covered this. And this is I the cable know. needle. Okay. And All what right. a cable needle is, is when you're twisting your cables, you have to like hold your stitches in the front or the back to twist for the cable. I and hold this... my stitches in the back. Do ya? Anyway, this holds onto your stitches for you while you're knitting two and then you put them back on. That's what this does. And then uh, we have the needle gauges and you saw the needle gauges. And if you'd like to contact them, uh, you can get a hold of them at 844-KNIT-KIT or just Aww. go to thenitkit.com. That's pretty cool. It's got uh, a whole, it lot of, so cool? whole lot of stuff packed into a little spot. It's like uh, Swiss Army. Well, and here's the nice thing. You don't tool. need a Notions pouch. Like if you're traveling, I mean, how nice would that be for a plane? Okay. So you don't need another bag. Like all the bags. I mean, I, I have, I don't know, four Notions pouches and they just kind of migrate all over the place. But this is like perfect for traveling. Thanks so much, Brandy. It was so much fun. End game. Cinematic skeins. Cinematic skeins. I kind of already talked about her. I just wanted to remember to mention her because that was Tammy, the person who didn't get me the severed head. Go watch her podcast. Did you tell that story? I assumed you told that story. I told it yesterday. Was I here for it? You, you were, Mr. Bourbon Drinker. Was it a fun story? I mean... I guess. Do you have a baby? No. Do you have a baby? No. <laughs> You're talking about the blanket, right? If you had a baby, would it have a blanket? You're on it. I am on it, aren't I? So on the last episode, we talked about this blanket and I asked if anyone knew what it was. A lot of you said that it's Tunisian crochet. Colleen found the pattern. It is the Toy Fair Baby Blanket by Bernhard Allman. I took a screenshot of this because I wanted to get it right. So this was published in the Blue Ribbon Afghans from America's State Fairs and mm. the Busilla, Busilia number, number 7814 Toy Fair, A Child's Afghan. It doesn't appear that you can purchase it. On, that's the back, babe, unless you're looking at it. It doesn't appear that you can purchase the pattern. It's the back whether I'm looking at it or not. Right? Well, no, not if Superposition? You, well, now like, you have it sideways. Oh, my Lord. You're fired. No wonder. Who is going to replace Vanna? Ditto. Okay, real quick. We're at the end. We're at the end. It does not appear that you can purchase this pattern on Ravelry. It looks like you have to get it from one of those things. However, what it does say is it says, Afghan consists of five panels of alternating Afghan stitch and fillet squares. Now, I don't know what that means. Fillet stitch, I'm unfamiliar with a fillet stitch. But then in the, the like, uh, tags, it says Tunisian. So is a fillet stitch Tunisian? It must be, like... Somebody tell us. I don't if know. If only there was a section where you could put comments to let us know. Oh, wait, there is. Okay, so I wanted to let y'all know that we found the pattern. Colleen, you rock. I have one last thing and then we're, we're out. Do you have any dirty swatches? No. So all you have is washed swatches? Clean swatches. No, it says washed. It doesn't say clean. I wanted to show these to you guys only just because I thought it would be interesting. I swatch 
not for everything, but for anything that needs sizing, like sweaters and things. Or if I'm trying, I don't swatch for hats. Or if I'm trying something. I have all these swatches, and we use them as mug rugs. And what I did, because I was interested, and because they're just swatches that we use for mug rugs, I washed and dried them because I wanted to see what happened. So this is my Forest Park cardigan. Now they're, obviously I dried them, so I wanted to see what would happen if, you know, it accidentally happened to my sweater. This is the less traveled yarn. This obviously flipped up. All I have to do is get this wet again and block it and it'll lay flat. But let me tell you, this yarn is so soft and squishy. Does it have to be wet or can you just get it moist? Tian, don't. This is less traveled yarn. I'm super impressed with it. It's really nice. If you want a soft, squishy, nice yarn, I am, I'm, my Forest Park cardigan, I'm, I just love it. This is my Sunset Highway. This is washed and dried, and this is just a super wash wool. There isn't, there's a few different, I know this is deep dyed yarns. I can't remember the other ones. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. This is my, what was it called? Forest for the Trees, which you guys, it's a $5 pattern now, but I swear when I got it, it was free. It didn't used to be $5. Some of you pointed out that it wasn't free and that it was $5, but when I downloaded it, it was free. So that pattern is $5. I had the hat. I had the hat. And this is uh, non super wash wool, and I wanted to see how it would felt. And to be honest with you, it didn't felt as much as I thought it no, would. Not much. Uh. Like this one, and I forget what this is called. It was a starter brioche thing. This was the very first brioche I ever did. And this is non-superwash and it is felted, felted. So it works great. I mean, that's washed and dried. It's not even curling. <laughs> <It's dangerous. laughs> Toast. Except I don't remember what the yarn is. So anyway, I just thought it would be interesting to show you that and maybe uh, give you the idea to do it if you ever wanted to see that's a good way of doing it. I have heard that people will keep swatches in their bags just to see how the yarn wears, like if it pills in things. Mm. And I've done that too, but I just thought it'd be interesting to wash and dry them. And like I said, we you know, use if the pill. They should get a <laughs> yes. diffuser. I just thought that it would be interesting to throw them in the washer and dryer and see what happened. And it was kind of a little fun experiment. And that's it. Ditto wants us out of this room. And he's, Very wants people. he's basically driving me insane. So we're going to check out. Sorry that he has whined this entire episode. I will try to cut most of it out. If you're still here, high freaking five, man. Cheers. We'll, and, we'll, we'll have the, 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 the giveaway cleaned up and you can come in for the next episode. On the next episode. Well, we're going to do the, we need to finish the giveaway and the Q&A video. So you will mm. be back on here. Even though. Well, I mean, they do live here. You make my episodes two hour episodes. You want to complain about it? I'll go away. You like me? I'll stay. <laughs> I honestly, I can't believe you've sat here this long. Usually he gets antsy and leaves. It's, like, it's, it's, it's been this last hour. It's been real tough. Yeah, but you've made it. I do stuff. You've made it long. There's drywall of sand, and there's just things to do everywhere. If you guys caught the shit show of a live, the drunken <sighs> three sheets in a wind, in the wind, live we did last night, Dan mentioned he was all excited he got this new toy for the kitchen remodel that is you sand drywall in it, uh, you attach it to the shop vac and it sucks up the dust. And he tried it and it's amazing. It's amazing. It works awesome. It is Billy amazing. It's what? Billy amazing. 
Billy Mazing? You see him well. That guy's name's Billy? Yeah, Billy Mazing. Oh, Billy May. Okay, yeah, yeah. Editing Chevis again. This is Billy Mays. And I had to Google this because I had no idea. This is Billy Mays, and he's the OxyClean dude. And this is Vince Offer, and he's the ShamWow guy. Now you know if you didn't know, because I didn't know. Like All right. One, two, three. And you make the omelet. We're out. We're out, people. We're going to have burgers and, and baked beans. Hum and actually, Yo cheddar burgers. And I'm going to try and jump on a VKN right quick. Live. So, live from New York. It's Saturday night. Woo! <laughs> All right. Catch you guys later. Peace, bitches.